Kom Hey YouTube, Coppersan here. With only 0.9% of all level 250 plus characters being a Kaiser, not that many people are picking up this big dragon boy. So today we attempt to figure out why that's happening and what makes this class such an unpopular pick for most maplers. And well, it wasn't that difficult to figure out what exactly is wrong with this class, because it's one of the, if not the worst designed class in the entire freaking game. Yeah, I said that. Kaiser feels like an outdated mix of other class mechanics, but none of them are like executed properly. For example, Kaiser has an empowered regular attack, similar to Demon Slayer. But while the regular attack for the Demon Slayer is quite useful to recover fury, Kaiser's empowered auto attack doesn't really do anything, it has low damage, low range and your other skills outperform it easily. Even when transformed you just never use it. Plus they have this key combo mechanic similar to Eren's, but Eren's key combos like attack and up or attack and down or up and down whatever are quite easy to learn and to memorize, plus very useful to boost your damage, but Kaisers have to use this dragon link skill in the mix as well. For example to use blade burst as a key combo to so first to press the regular attack and then press the down plus dragon link key at the same time. This is clunky and very hard to pull off consistently and while you deal more final damage if you do use your combo, having to mix up the attack key in there just generally doesn't make it really worth it, you can just spam your attacks for more DPS. Except for when you use wing beat because I guess the wing beat wind up time is quite long so it's nice if you use dragon link for that if you pull it off properly. But still this is a core mechanic and from what I've seen all the Kaisers are just kinda ignoring it so that's definitely not a good sign. Anyway, I started grinding, getting to know the class a bit better, getting to know their grinding rotations and figuring out how this class performs when grinding. Keep in mind though, this character is quite low on stats. We do have a 3 piece fav set, but not really anything is upgraded and it didn't really have any useful notes. I do have all link skills and some legion goodness to buff up my damage though. I'm playing in a reboot server, so the monsters are tankier. Kaiser's base damage wasn't too exciting, but it wasn't like really bad or anything like that. It was, it was average, it was mid. But my goodness, what is this attack speed? Maybe I'm just no longer used to playing classes with lower attack speed. But even something as simple as just jumping around and using your main mobbing attack felt so slow, awkward and clunky. I had to get decent speed diffusion and a green pot just for things to feel better. With either of those two active, jump attacking at least felt normal again without that horrible delay in there. It was just so painful without it, I couldn't even jump attack properly because the low attack speed. Kaisers need plus one attack speed on their inner, else grinding just feels horrible. Another thing that Kaiser needs also on his inner ability is buff duration, because Kaiser is also a gauge class besides the other things that are happening. Filling up his gauge he can transform into a big dragon dude. This final form increases your final damage and you can attack through damage reflection and damage ignore, which is pretty cool early game. When you are transformed you can teleport around, which is pretty cool, but to use the teleport you have to press the morph skill again plus the arrow keys, which again makes it feel like I'm pressing an unnecessary amount of buttons. I think it would be nice if I could just tap the arrow keys twice in any direction to TP, but hey it's a teleporting warrior so that's cool even though it does feel a bit clunky. You can only transform though after completely filling up your morph cage. There also is a 240 second cooldown hyper skill that allows you to transform again and as a Kaiser you want to be your final form as much as possible because that way you'll deal more damage. But before I completely unload on what I don't like about this class and why I think it's so bad, let's just go back to grinding for a second. Grinding isn't actually too bad on this class if you cycle your 50 up skills. Kaiser actually has a surprising amount of skills going on. You have to use your blade burst mobbing attack all the time. You can summon swords that attack enemies. Kaiser's like the Adele that we have at home. They place out a summon, they can burn the ground for 20 seconds and their Gigas waves attack is empowered every now and then so you want to use that as well. And like I mentioned you also then cycle through your 50 up skills. So quite a bit going on it's not that easy. It will definitely keep you busy while grinding which could be nice for some people. Overall after finding a nice rhythm the grinding was average I'd say. Perhaps it was a bit too average for all the work you have to put in <laughs> but do keep in mind again I don't have that much funding and notes. I think after getting your skill levels up a bit and a bit more funding this class is still is gonna be decent when it comes to mobbing. Nothing special but definitely not bad also. But anyway uh, back to Kaiser's horrible skill design. Kaiser also has a defender and attacker mode toggle. I always die a little inside when I see like 3rd and 4th job skills that increase defense. <laughs> Look, that you take less damage only in final form when you use defender mode, that's fine, sure, I, I like it. But wow, 200 defense increase? I can't wait to take 1 damage less from monsters now, this is amazing, I'm totally gonna use this. Guys, is attack mode, it's fine. It increases critical damage, boss damage, other useful stats. Love it. I think it would be better if maybe both modes were merged into like one passive. But speaking of useless stats, I also noticed Kaisers are the masters of stance. 
Their Transfiguration skill increases their stance by 40% at stage 2, so when your gauge reaches the second stage. Their first job, Skill Skin Passive, increases stance by another 40%, so that's 80% already. And then their fourth job, Skill Grand Armor, also increases their stance by another 60%. So Kaisa's got a cool 140% stance if you have your gauge filled up. Without your gauge filled up, you have 100%. With your gauge filled up, boom, 140% stance. And then if you're transformed, you still keep the full gauge for a while while transformed. And you gain another 100% stance on top of that. Kaiser rocking that 240% stance. I think you can tell already from my uh, small critique here that a lot of thought went into this class. You can just tell by the amount of stance this class has. Interesting. You can also tell Nexon has kind of forgotten about this class when it's still the only job without an animation in the character selection screen. And also I noticed that their fourth job skill Unbreakable Will, that skill icon actually is the exact same as Luminous's Link skill, but with a dragon added on top of it. <laughs> the MapleStory franchise made 4 billion lifetime revenue, but uh, I guess there were just weren't enough funds to make a unique skill icon. <laughs> Anyway, let's take this class for another spin bossing, shall we? Let's meet up our good old friend, Kaelsakum. Kaiser can lower the damage he takes from some percentage attacks using his Grand Armor. That skill does have a massive 2 minute cooldown though, so that's not that sexy. He also has an iframe skill that apparently lasts really short, so I died anyway. Or maybe getting flashbanged by the skill animation so you don't see your own death is the iframe. Who knows at this point? There also is a Bishop Door Life skill that blocks one death that you can get with your fifth job advancement. But uh, yeah, I didn't have enough note slots or notes for that yet. Kaiser's bossing damage itself, that was fine though. Their Kaiser's Majesty skill resets cooldown, so you can use, for example, the Angelic Boss Link skill quite often, which is nice. I do hate that your bossing skill Gigas Waves only hits one enemy, so unless you're in your final form. It just feels so outdated to only hit one enemy, but I guess that's more of a Chaos Takum issue, I suppose. Also, fun fact, while you're in your final form, your hitbox is actually slightly bigger compared to the normal Tiny Maplers, so you have that disadvantage as well. This is actually my first time bossing with the class, so my rotations are uh, less than optimal. But similar to grinding, there are a lot of skills you have to keep in mind. Kaiser's damage, again, wasn't exceptional, but it wasn't bad either. I had 4k stats at this point, that wasn't too bad. Overall, I think Kaiser just suffers a lot from being outdated and needing that additional attack speed before it really starts feeling better, and it just doesn't make a good first impression. And then there also are so many systems that this class uses that just aren't designed that well. The theme and concept of Kaiser are cool, but it will need some love and a bigger revamp before it will grow in popularity again. Dragon Knight died for this class. What do you think about the Kaiser class yourself? Let me know in the comments. And as always, many thanks to our members for making these videos possible. Special thanks to Niels de Comic, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, Riley Oss, Terry Kim, Varese, Cody Mora, Wine Lee, History Cannon, Backspace OTI, Safronix, Ziggy Deer, Flidiot, Knife Sue, Cloudfix, Gusus Rodriguez, Digby, Vyra, Trevor, Michael Menchaca, Ratius, Justin Ville, Silvio Nato, Afterlord underscore MS, Striker Elk, Tidal One Pun, Radical Jaws, Riser RU, Sir Tito, 655, Matthias Simerson, PC Game Life, The Passenger, Martin Panzik, Conrad Cristalis, Ace Light, Mr. Anark, Ben Wolf, Max Bernhardt, Muka 1017, BMB King, Scotty Flies Fast, Priscilla, Brennan Cam, Vague Botnet, Fek Victor Sundström, Simak, Only, Rashid Alarudi, Gerlando Balavia, Gianfranco, Calderon Canavero, Lucky Beats, Matinho Dev, Gummy Bullet, Lord Fazil, Spots D. Kaiser, Zunnen, That Archie Guy, Grogro, Grable Egg, and Louis Bento Brandao. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, and as always, happy mapling.